everybody thank you so much for joining me on my channel and welcome to another distress oxide color combination video so today we're looking at crushed olive now we've been through all the a's all the b's and we're getting towards the end of the c's within the distress oxide range crushed olive is a beautiful yellow green obviously an olive color but it's not as dark as i would usually consider an olive now let's first of all start by blending this color and I've actually taken on board some of your comments and some of your uh, requests uh, throughout these series. And lots of you are really keen on seeing other colours that this um, kind of sits around and against. But also somebody requested to see swatches of those colours alongside this one as well. So you can compare them sort of properly rather than just looking at the labels. So I'm going to start doing that for you where I can. So that is the beautiful crushed olive. As you can see, it is getting towards a yellow colour, but it is still within the green family, definitely. It's going to work really well with browns, with yellows. I'm actually going to put it into blues and pinks as well for these combinations today. Now, colours that this sits nicely around, um, I would say, are these ones. So we've got Shabby Shutters, Old Paper, Twisted Citron and Peeled Paint, all within the sort of green family. I think Old Paper is probably the one that it sits closest with um, and maybe Peeled Paint. Old Paper is a similar colour, but much lighter shade, whereas Peeled Paint is a similar shade, so still quite dark. But a slightly different color okay hopefully this will help to explain it so we've got shabby shutters on the end here almost almost a creamy color old paper just in here as well again a creamy color we've got twisted citron here and then we've got peeled paint and as you can see so the actual colors of these two are the same as the crushed olive but this is the much darker shade. And as I say, Twisted Citron, much, much more yellow, much brighter, almost a neon color, that one. But as you can see, it doesn't really reflect in the label. And then crush, uh, sorry, Peeled Paint is definitely uh, darker. So um, yeah, so hopefully that helps you to work out which of these greens you prefer. And when I'm doing this and we're looking at one particular color, uh, the colours that I've compared it with are usually all going to work really well into the colour combinations that I then go on to do. So if you don't have this particular colour but you have one of these, you can have a go at mixing them in silicon, similar combinations. So hopefully that helps you. So I'm just going to pop these to the side and we'll start with our colour combinations. So the first one I'm going to do is a three color combination as always, and I'm going to go straight into pink. Green and pink as a rule shouldn't mix because um, the kind of, if you think green and red should in theory make brown. Um, and although pink isn't a red, this particular saltwater taffy is more of a coral color. Um, so it really does have that yellow base to it already, which helps it work beautifully into green. Now, for some reason, and I think I know the reason, I think I've used saltwater taffy with an ink or something. I've blended it in and the bristles on my brush have actually become quite stiff, quite hard. So when it comes to blending this particular colour, it does, it does take a little while for the uh, ink to transfer, which is really strange. And I've had it, I've got it on a couple of my uh, brushes. So I need to replace the brush for this one. So it's not the actual ink, it is the brush. And it just makes blending a little harder. But if you're having that issue, it might be that it's your bristles are contaminated. Now I did also have this with another color. I believe it was Tattered Rose. And why did I, oh no, it was a purple. It was definitely one of my purples, Chipped Sapphire, I think. And I took my brush and I put some washing liquid into the bristles, rubbed it all in, or baby shampoo, something like that, something that's going to break down any sort of grease. Um, and I rubbed it into the bristles and then I washed it off the same way you would wash your makeup brushes, if you do wash your makeup brushes. Um, I rinsed it all off, I dried it thoroughly. I didn't try to do ink blending while the bristles were still wet. Give that a good probably 24 hours to dry thoroughly after soaking up as much excess water as possible, excess water, sorry, as possible. Um, with a kitchen towel something like that then leave it to dry and then that really does soften everything up and whatever is in there and not really allowing the ink to stick to the bristles uh, had gone and that had worked so i need to sort of do this to this particular brush as well i'm really not sure what it is there's something that i've in the past blended 
into with that uh, that particular brush but who knows can't go back and change that anyway over to this com combination again so saltwater taffy as I say taking a little while to mix these two in but the two colors do mix beautifully you get this lovely different sort of green in between the two so pick up as much ink as possible on there and blend that in there we go look at that that is a lovely lovely color blend now as I say I have laid down quite a lot of ink on this but isn't that beautiful just stunning those two colors together and green and pink probably you wouldn't always think to put those together now the additional color that I'm going to add in here I don't want anything else contrasting so I'm going for a neutral and I'm going with antique linen for this one so for this end and this could actually go on either end this could go against the green or it could go against the pink so whichever your preference again now I need to blend this into the pink which is easier said than done just work that in at least it's a light much lighter color the antique linen so it is easier to blend in there we go almost Let's just a little bit more there there we go so we've got those three colors now because that pink that brush of mine is um, not quite working as it should I would probably go in with my water for this particular one and do this I do this a lot anyway and I've shown you in other videos just putting some water over the top allowing the reaction to start and then lifting up that was actually some really quite big blobs there wasn't it and that reacted very quickly but just to give us the mottled look so there's the first color combination antique linen crushed olive at the end antique linen and salt water taffy there just gorgeous and I actually used that combination quite a lot when I was doing my uh, Magnolia Drive collection launch so the next one is going to be blues and greens yes I love blues and greens together one of my favorite or two of my favorite colors when mixed together so here we've got uh, crushed olive and peeled paint we've already seen they work together because I've shown you on that sort of comparison of the green so they're going to work nicely into each other although peeled paint is quite dark and stormy sky and tumble glass we've got the blues going into the greens now I was tempted to put a blue green in here but I thought I'm not going to I think as these two blend together it's going to make that nice transition between the blue and the green anyway so let's bring in my brushes here so I do have a different brush for every uh, color and I prefer to keep it that way because I don't want issues uh, like we've seen on the uh, saltwater taffy brush so first of all tumbled glass a beautiful beautiful light blue color now don't forget uh, if you love seeing the swatches you can download my swatch sheet from um, my website that's linked below it's a free swatch sheet it has the latest colors which is uh, lumberjack plaid and uh, lost shadow they're all on there and you can download that and you can fill it in when you wish when I add the what I believe is the final color in the distress oxide range once that's announced when I add that I'll just add it onto the end so all you need to do is print the last page and redo that if you wish to okay so then going into stormy sky look at that. I mean these two I know we're not looking at these today but just look at the color blend between tumbled glass and stormy sky how beautiful lovely okay then stormy sky is going to go into crushed olive so we're going much much brighter all of a sudden so I'm going to bring in some more stormy sky to help blend that in because again I've sp spoken about this before when you're blending two colors together if one is particularly stronger than another lay that one down don't attempt your blending with that one do your blending with the lighter color the paler color the color that isn't so sort of in your face because otherwise you're going to risk dragging this color all the way over into your paler color and then you're just going to hide it it's just going to get hidden it's just um it's not going to hold its own whereas i know that the crushed olive is going to hold its own as i apply more of this lovely stormy sky over the top it's going to start blending rather than just covering up so just doing that blend now where i'm starting to bring the uh 
crushed olive down into the blue I don't want to lose that blue so I'm going to go across this section here again with more blue make sure I don't ruin the blend line this end so it is really you are going back and forth back and forth creating these blend lines and making sure that you've still got the the amount of um, what's the word the amount of color for each shade that you want and you're not losing any oh I've just picked up some green there this is the trouble with not cleaning your mat so just wipe my mat there because I've just bought green into the blues I think I've got quite a lot on there I should be able to remove a bit <clears throat> there we go right so let's mix some more tumble glass in there then reinstate that lovely stormy sky then we've got our crushed olive and then we're going to go into the last one again okay, I'm going to wipe my mat you've always seen me wiping my mat and I've said to it but I don't think many of you have actually seen why well that's exactly why you can drag the wrong color into the wrong place now I haven't done a lot of crushed olive here and this is because peeled paint is really very similar so you can see there the peeled paint is just a slightly more green less yellow shade but when you're looking at the two next to each other next to the blues it's really not going to look massively different there we go So that's the reason why I've not done so much of this colour. Now, of course, you can adjust how much of each you do. Again, let's just give this one a little spritz. I'm just having one of those days. Let's do a light mist rather than blobbing off of my hand where you get the bigger blotches. Just do a light mist and let that start to react while I clean my mat. Now, the blending mats that I use the brushes and of course the inks are all available via links in the description so you can find all of those now hopefully you can start to see that reacting let's just with a clean piece of towel let's just lift off the excess there there so we've just got this sort of mottled stippled look to it there we go so in both instances we have used the crushed olive but they're both very different shades different blends that you can use within your crafting projects um, make sure of course like I say clean your brush brushes because you've seen you know what happens the effect if you don't clean your brushes and always clean your mat between colors as well so it's kind of a video today with some almost mistakes and things happening but it's good because it shows you what can happen with your ink blending tools and how to fix them what can affect them i hope you enjoyed this color combination that was crushed olive um, we'll soon be into the d's actually i'll try to upload every day or two if where if and where i can uh, but eventually we will work our way through the entire alphabet of distress oxide colors uh, please do subscribe uh, do a thumbs up on this video leave me a comment with your thoughts on this one as well and i'll see you again very very soon with another video